Now that you've created your own cryptocurrency on Binance Smart Chain, we're going to allow anyone in the world to buy it. If you haven't made your own cryptocurrency yet, make sure to check out my tutorial in the description. And you don't need any coding knowledge for this. I'm Matt, a software developer, and I talk about everything coding tech and productivity. My goal is to get you interested in tech, and if you have any questions or need any help, feel free to hop into my Discord. We're going to list your own token using PancakeSwap, which is a decentralized exchange on Binance Smart Chain. We're going to create your token's first liquidity pool, which will allow anyone to buy it. So hit that like button, subscribe, and let's hop right in. Now that you've created your token, we need to provide liquidity. You can easily do this on a decentralized exchange like PancakeSwap. PancakeSwap is the most popular exchange on Binance Smart Chain. So for example, if you launch your token on Ethereum, you will not be able to add liquidity on PancakeSwap. You will need to launch your token on Binance Smart Chain. The nice thing about PancakeSwap and Binance Smart Chain are that the gas fees are a lot cheaper than Ethereum. It's pretty straightforward. You want to hover over trade and then click liquidity. Now here you're going to click add liquidity. The way this works is we take a set amount of one token and the amount of the token we created and add them both to something called a liquidity pool as a pair. It allows anyone to come in and buy your token. So for example, I have a dummy token right here. We're gonna hop in here. I'm gonna go down to where I created the contract for this token. Now you can validate that it's the token you created by checking the token tracker and you can go up here and copy the address. Back over on PancakeSwap, you can now paste this in and then click import. Click I understand and import. Now you're gonna add the two amounts. For example, I'm gonna make a liquidity pool where somebody can use BNB to buy this token and they can sell this token to get BNB back. Let's say I put in, for example, one BNB and this is already gonna populate because I've already created a liquidity pool in the past. But if this is your first one yet, you can really set any number in here and then it will show you the conversion rates down here. Once that's done, this is grayed out since I don't have any BNB in my wallet, but you'll wanna click this button and follow the instructions. In just one or two steps, you'll have your liquidity pool created. Now you can go back into trade and then exchange, click select a currency and choose your currency. Again, you can also put in that address of the token you created. And now let's say we want to buy some of this. You can put in any number of BNB that you have in your wallet and it will allow you to buy your token. Now, if it says price impact too high, that means you're trying to buy too much of the supply and that the value is going to change way too much. What you can do is just try a lot less BNB and you can see we've reduced the price impact a lot and you just kind of want to keep going until you get price impact that's good to go. And we can make this number a little bit smaller until we have a better price impact. When creating these pools, you do want to provide a decent amount of liquidity so people won't be having price impact issues. Price impact does become an issue if you put in too little money into your liquidity pool to start. So I definitely recommend putting a healthy amount of BNB, for example, into your liquidity pool. If you learned something today, make sure to click that like button and subscribe. And if you need help, hop into my free tech discord. I also answer all DMs on TikTok and Instagram. So follow over there and see you next time.